this is Sound Out here, today with a Morpher review. This time of the Power Rangers RPM Cell Shift Morpher. This just came out in the fall line, or the sprint, or the winter line, for um, 08. It retails for $13. You can get it at most Walmarts, Targets, and Toys R Us's. That's the right thing. Um, this is really cool. The Japanese counterpart to this is called the Go Phone, and works with the um, electronic engine cell engine cells. For America, they have engine cells, and as you notice, they are thin pieces of plastic with a sticker on them. That's okay. They're differently engraved on the bottom, so it activates different sound effects. This and the Rev Shift Morpher, according to the um, according to the commercial, it's Rev Shift Morpher. According to package, it's Rev Morpher. We'll have to see. This is um, they they're sold in these very slindric packages. Whoa. And um, so that's which it. This one comes with three. The Rev Shift Morpher comes with two engine cells. Um, these are this one includes the morph key for the Cell Shift Morpher, the number two key for the um, Lion Hauler, number three key for the Bear Crawler, and those will fit inside the Zords. Uh, regarding that, I won't be doing the High Octane Mega Zord till after the show's premiered, because I think they're going to have different names in the show for the Zords. Anyway, onto the Rev or the Cell Shift Morpher itself. It's got the Go Longer G, which is also the symbol for RPM. These lines, kind of a track feel. The back isn't painted at all, but it's got detail. I might go and paint that myself sometime if I ever get feeling like that. They do have these handle type things, but that's to connect with the handle blaster, which may or may not be released in America. So to open it up, you open it up like that. Wow. Now, compared to the Go phone, there was the thickest part was up here. The thickest part is down here. This is considerably smaller, and it doesn't have as much stuff up here where the engine cell goes. But it, it's nice. I like it. It's got a more cell phone feel. The thing that the Go phone didn't have, that the American version does have, that that can be considered downside is this. Yes, it sounds like you're breaking it every time you go to close it. That's just because there's a little tab in there and there's a little slot and it clicks in there so it's all sturdy right here. It still does this. Got that close to the microphone so make sure to hear it. Now, unlike the Japanese version, you have to open this manually. Otherwise, you'd pull the trigger for the Japanese version. Well, we'll start with the morph key. Okay? Insert the morph key, close it up, you get the revving sound. Then, when you hit this button, I'll pull this off camera, the, the gold button. you get the morphing sound effects, including some of the sound effects in the Japanese morphing. And after that, you get the three engine Zord um, honking sounds, like the Eagle Racer, Lion Hauler, Bear Crawler. So, I mean, make sure you get that. It's my first electronic sound review. I'm going to see how this tests out. But that's pretty much it for that key. There's no nothing there. These buttons here don't do anything either. They're just molded on. So you can go like 911. Help me, Power Rangers. I don't know. Um, number two. This and the one that comes with the high octane number one plus number four and five make all the same sound effect because they are molded exactly the same on the bottom. So, I'll just show you that 
five and four. There, they these all make the same sound. But I will show you individually. One with the high, comes from the high octane. And it keeps going until you do hold the button. So you press it again. Same thing with this. Number four does exactly the same thing. And of course, number five does the same thing. This is the one complaint I have about the toy. You have four engine cell keys, and they all make the same noise. I'm sure there could have been another another program into this. It would have been nice. I don't know, maybe cost expensive, but it would have been nice. But number three, number three is different. You put it in, and you get this calling sound. Press the button. You get a half female, half male voice. It's kind of creepy. Press it again. No voice. Just so you can hear that weird voice. Okay, here it is. I'm just making sure this gets on video. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all the engine cell keys out. I doubt number six will be different. I'm thinking it will make this, again, annoying sound. Like the engine soles and the go phone make whenever you put them in and then rattle it around. It goes, blue, blue. I don't have the go phone and I'm happy I don't. And of course, green morph key. That's really it. There's, there's three buttons in there that they press, and so that's all the sound effects you get. I'm thinking they could have done more. If it was $20, then yes, I see how they probably would be like $30 to get all the different sound effects possible. Um, but it's nice. That still bugs me. That's the only two complaints. Lack of sound effects. Crickety crackety noise whenever you close it. But it's nice you do get the two engine cell keys. I mean, just to show you that engine cell keys do fit in Zords, I have the Eagle Racer here. See, you can like fit anything in there. And you won't get a Japanese guy talking to you in a weird voice if you put the wrong engine cell in. See, wee! Go forth! But more on him later. Um, that's all I really have to say. It's a really good morpher. I would recommend it. I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. It does include a sticker of the Red Ranger holding the morpher. That's it. i am got this one coming up. Of the Rev Shift. I have it, so I'm probably gonna do that in one next. But... One interesting note is that the box here on the, the, the lion's face, it says Go Onger. Can't see that on my camera though, but. Anyway, this has been Sound Out with a great review of a Cell Shift Morpher. RPM, get in gear!